Today I tell you the story of one of the best, if not the best, German lead singer. Dietrich Fischer Disco. He was born in 1925 in Berlin. He started singing when he was a kid and he took some singing lessons once his boyish voice dropped. As a child, he was already put into a Hitler youth group. His father died when he was 12, so he was left alone with his very young mother and his brother, who was physically and mentally disabled. After he finished high school and he just started studying singing in the Berlin Conservatory, he was sent off to war. The end of everything. He fought during the last two years of the World War II. And apparently he already entertained his fellow soldiers by singing behind the lines. I wanted to be able to express everything with the organ that was given to me. While he was fighting on the front line, the Nazis put his brother in an institution in which they starved him to death, like other handicapped people. And the family apartment was bombed. In 1945, three days before the Allies accepted the German surrender, he was captured and became an American prisoner of war. There as well, he kept on singing and he entertained the other prisoners. I would sing on carton boxes out of the kitchen filled with sand. And apparently he was so good that the Americans kept him very long after the surrender. So in 1947, he was one of the last German soldiers to be released. When that happened, he was still only 22 years old. Because he was so young, no one considered that he made his own decisions. Therefore, no one blamed him for fighting with the Nazis. He went back to study at the conservatory in Berlin, but he never actually got to finish his studies because as soon as he came back, he was called to replace a baritone to sing the Brahms Deutsche Requiem. From then on, his career was launched. He started to have concerts everywhere in Europe. I never considered it my forte to be a wandering opera guest singer. So he was most famous for the German lead. He won two Grammy Awards for German leader recordings. Es fällt kein Strahl in but the guy recorded more than three dozens opera roles. He was singing everything. singer, he was a conductor, a voice teacher, a writer, he wrote books about composers, and apparently he also enjoyed painting and was pretty good at it. In his memoirs that he published in 1987, he describes himself as a shy kid. He seems quite uncertain, which is funny because when you watch him work, that guy's confidence seems pretty okay. Fortissimo. This end. A few years after he stopped singing operas, he officially announced that he retired from the stage. It is so that we singers have to meet two deaths, that of a voice and then the death of the body. Oh, the 